Hey everyone, it's me Joji and today we are going to be doing a Pokemon TCG Online deck gameplay. This one's going to be focusing on the Rapid Striker Shifu, specifically, obviously, the VMAX one. Now, uh, if you don't know what this guy does, is Gale's Thrust for 1 energy to 30, but if you switch it into it, it does 150, which is not bad. It's reminiscent of the old uh, Giratina and Garchomp GX tag team. Uh, then we also have GMAX Rapid Flow, but you have to discard three energy and or more, depending on how much you have on it, to do 120 on two of your opponent's Pokemon. It could be good, depending on what you play against, uh, but it may also be detrimental because you are losing energy. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to run that Urshifu. We have a 4-3 line. We have a single Dedene. A Jirachi, which is used for Psychic Zone, so we don't have to worry about the Psychic Weakness on the Urshifus. We have a Mew, in case we want to prevent any other Urshifus from attacking our benched Pokemon. And any other uh, damage encounter bench stuff like that, so we're good with that. It also helps every once in a while with Psy Power uh, to do some damage. Then we're going to be running a 2-2 for Octillery Remoraid. Uh, so we can get that rapid strike search in case we need to pull some stuff, maybe an energy, maybe there are she fills themselves, or maybe another artillery if we need to, if it's going to get knocked out soon. Then we're running four crushing hammer, two escape ropes, four level balls. I'm mainly using these to get the remoraids. Um, sometimes I'll use it to get the Mew, but for the most part, remoraids are the only ones I'm using the level ball for. I'm still out on whether or not to keep this in, but we'll see. We have Pokecom, so that could help with combining with Love Balls. We have Quick Balls to grab every other thing we need. Two Reset Stamps. We have two Switches, so we're very reliant on Escape Ropes and these four Air Balloons down here, which we're going to be attaching mainly to our Shifus. We have two Bosses Orders, just in case we need to move something into the active after maybe using Escape Rope. We have four Marnie, two Professor's Research, because we don't want to be discarding too much from our deck. I put in two Rapid Strike uh, Mustard, just because I have the Arts. I haven't been using it too much, I've used it maybe once or twice in testing. Uh, but it helps, it helps a lot uh, <laughs> every once in a while. Um, then we, of course, we did have the air balloons. We have some capture energies here if we want to put on maybe another Shifu or maybe the Remoraid. And then we also have four of the rapid strike energies. These are going to be the main things we put onto our Shifus. But again, we're going to have to discard these if we ever use its G Max attack here. G Max rapid flow. It has to discard them. And of course, then we're running just four energies here for our fighting but yeah that's the deck it's done pretty good i i would say it's pretty much 50 50 at the moment uh there are some improvements and i'm pretty sure some of the more professional players have made this a lot better than i have but this is what i'm going with and it's done so well, pretty well so far so let's get it into some games why don't we okay so we're going into here our first battle We'll see what this guy decides to flip. Uh, <laughs> he's been here for a bit now, actually. I, don't, I honestly don't know what's going on. You may have forgotten he's playing. I don't know if that was an auto flip or what. The dude is really taking a while. My guy AFK? I, I actually do not know if he's actually playing. That, I don't know if that was the full 20 seconds that it gives you. Alright, we're starting with a Rammer Raid. Probably evolve into Octillery at some point. Mm, I'm hoping to draw into something. I really want to draw into something else. Because I don't want to stick with the Rammer Raid. Maybe Escape Rope into something. Three Pokemon off the bat. Jirachis and Snom. Is this some kind of... Oh, it, it is a Blastoise deck. This one is probably going to be a blast like this deck. I just don't know if they're actually alive. I don't know. I 
Okay, there is the first play. So he is there. Okay, I really want to try this deck out. I'm gonna to have to at some point maybe get some Blastoise V and VMAX cards. I just haven't been able to get even, even the product in. Pokecom? We're gonna use that. We're gonna get. Alright, oh, two and three. Okay, so we got two Rapid Strikes prized. Wow, okay. Let's take another quick peek. I think we got a Professor prize too. Alright. Noted. We're gonna start setting up this dude here. We're gonna crush this. Uh, no, okay, no, we're not gonna crush it. We're gonna do that. We could just do a clean 30 damage and retreat back. Which we might do. We we just might do it. Let's see what they switch into. I'm hoping they kind of switch into that Blastoise so I can just chuck away at it a bit. It'll help when we evolve into the VMAX. Okay, he's going into a different Jirachi. We're gonna Marnie up. All right. Ooh, we got some Rapid Strike, which is good. I'm gonna Crush again. Nice. And Strafe. And I will actually switch back in case I do get the VMAX or maybe come into the VMAX. I can go ahead and Guilt Rest. Level Ball. What's he grabbing? Frostmoth? Oh, okay, I didn't even realize it was 90, so that's actually pretty decent for the level ball. Another level ball? Setting up a Snom or something? Mew? Okay, that's gonna be a problem for our GMAX Rapid Flow. Albeit, I mean, as long as we can knock whatever's in there active, I'm okay with. There's the VMAX. I think we want to set up a Mew for this guy as well. Let's take a quick peek. Uh, does 30 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Yeah, definitely want to get our own Mew up soon. That kind of sucks. Um, mm, we might be able to use Mustard here. It's been a while since I've been able to use Mustard in my testing. It was maybe like twice out of like five or six times. But maybe we can get this guy in. Alright, flip to Hez. It's awake. Please give me something I can eat. Okay, I... I have no idea what happened here. I, I guess we'll go to the next one. Okay, so I'm hoping in this one we don't get a very early concede. I've lost a coin flip. Okay, I seem to be losing a lot of coin flips here. Uh, I'm going first. Okay, give me... Ooh, that's some good stuff. I'm going to put up this, this... And I'm not going to show you the Mew yet. I want to see what he's playing. It is a fighting box. It could be the other Urshifu. Okay, okay, I see this. Um, I haven't really seen the other Urshifu. Uh, 270, discard all energy from this Pokemon. Oh, okay. I didn't get to read that. Yeah, I'll take another one. Uh, no, I'm good. Ooh, this is a good hand right now. I'm gonna do that. And leave it as that. Okay. Let's see what he starts off with. He has a Houndar. See, okay. What does this do? Does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. That's expecting me not to immediately knock it out, though. Single strike. It's going onto the bench here. It's also getting the Furious Anger. Okay. 
I don't know how I feel about the Furious Anger attack. Moss's orders. Thank you. Actually, that helps me. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a Rapid Strike Energy. Attach it to our Rapid Striker Shifu. I don't know if I wanna Marnie him. I kinda wanna save this air balloon. Uh, you know what? I feel like he might be switching us into something, so. That's fine. I'm gonna set up another Urshifu. We can always grab its evolution with the Octillery. All right, it's pretty good. Pretty good start here. We're already getting a knockout. I think we're doing pretty well against this Urshifu alternate already. I can expect it to see going into uh, the VMAX right now. Yep, there it is. Let's take a quick peek at it. So, beat down 100, discard all energy from this Pokemon that effect isn't affected by it. Oh, okay, so it's just a straight 270, really. That's all right, I guess. Ooh, artillery. Furious Anger for one or 10, okay. I am going to get rid of this guy. We're gonna get the other Shifu VMAX, which speaking of which we have one prized. Set this dude up. I'm gonna actually, hmm, what do we have? Uh, I could get the other one. I'm tempted to just set up another one. Just set up a third one. It's kind of, I kind of, I would only do 120, so I'm switching into this dude. It's gonna hurt a bit once he uses Furious Anger, but I think that's all right. He has 330, he's gonna be doing 160 right now on me. I might even, you know, put an energy on the Mew just to ping it a bit. If he puts more Pokemon down, I can knock those out instead with our G-Max Rapid Flow. All right, let's see. So he's actually gonna be doing, I think that's an extra 20. So he's gonna be doing 180 right now. Ooh, we set up Crobat. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely tempted now to start setting up the Mew to just ping some stuff here. Yeah, he's gonna be doing a lot more damage now. 180. All right, I'm gonna. Could bring up his Crobat just for a second here. Let's Octillery. Rapid Strike Search. Uh, let's grab this energy. Alright. Put it onto this dude here. I'm tempted to boss and just hit it and expect him not to have to waste an energy here, because I haven't seen him use any switches. He discarded an air balloon. I'm gonna do that. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot to switch. Oh, I'm a fool. Well then. <laughs> well, this is about to get knocked out. On the bright side, I can get, I, I can't get two knockouts here. This has 130. He's wasting a capture energy here though. That was that was a big mistake on my part though. Definitely gonna have the Marnie. If I can get the Gale Thrust, I can knock out two of these guys though. That's three prizes. It's not bad. 
so we trade three prizes for three prizes. I think I'm okay with that. I'm gonna trade three prizes. For safety at the moment though, I'm gonna put up a Mew. Professor's research. I might not want to do that. No, I'm just gonna Marnie. He has too many cards. And I don't want to lose either of those cards right now. Escape rope, not bad. Could force him into moving something else up here. You know what? I'm going to ping it. Side power. One there. So he has 120. And two here. So we have potential to knock out quite a bit right now. I should put maybe three on here, but ooh, what does this do? You must discard a single strike card from your hand. Okay, so pointless to me. Ooh, he's bringing up. Okay, I see it. Is he gonna have enough with his? Okay, I think he has enough now. He definitely has enough. I think he has game. Yeah, I was not expecting him to just put all his single strike energy onto here. I think that's game. <laughs> oh, that was my mistake on my part. That whiff definitely messed us up. We could have had the game. But it is what it is. Okay, moving on to another one. Hoping for a win here. Uh, let's see. Grass? I wonder if we're going up against another Alolan Executor deck here. It's a good hand. It's a really good hand. Uh, I don't know who's going first. Did it, what did he decide on? A mulligan? Well, that doesn't tell me much. I just know it's a grass. I, I don't know what this is. Yeah, I'll take another one. Remoraid? Ooh. Yeah, I'll put up an Remoraid. Ooh, Maractus. Ooh. I've heard of this one. I haven't played against it, though. On the bright side, though, we can easily knock out every one of them with the G Max Rapid Flow. Flip a coin for each energy attached. The attack does 60 damage for each heads. It could be a problem. As often as you like your turn, you may attach one energy card from your hand to your... Oh. Ah. <laughs> this may be a problem. All right, so I want to get rid of the Cherubi. And the Maractus is at the same time. The, Mar the Maracti? Maracti, I think so. Cacti, Maracti. Alright. Mew? No. That ruins our G-Max Rapid Flow plans. So we need to get, like, really, really into his face with, like, Guild Rust or something. Or if we can get the Mew out of here, that's perfect. We need to get rid of this Mew. That's that's the main thing we need to do right now. Alright, that was a long turn. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna... Move away our Mew. We don't need that right now. Uh... Da, 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 da. Get a good look here. Okay. I think we'll start setting up an artillery. I 
I'm not gonna use the Dejene just yet. Which could backfire. But I also don't wanna lose anything right now. You know what? I'm gonna use the level wall, grab some stuff. I don't think he's gonna hit our bench, but you know, just to have things out here. All right, next turn, what we can do is evolve one of the Rumble Raids, evolve our Shifu, the Dene, and maybe if we want to hit a reset stamp. This is gonna be a problem though. It means you can have two, is it multiple attaches? This thing is like a Frost Mob. Oh, that's a problem. We need to get this thing knocked out as soon as possible. We need some air balloons, maybe some kind of switch ability. Crobat, annoying. Right now he can do a potential 120. I wonder if he has Glimwood Tangle as a, as a field. Yep, there it is. Speak of it and it will show up. There's a third that's a potential 180. Please don't tell me he has another one. Oh no, he's gonna get more. But on the bright side, if he overloads it, it's gonna be hard for him to set up another one, right? 240. 300. 360. Now he just needs to hit at least oh, okay let's see that's one two three Ooh. okay <laughs> oh that one was close okay um all right well let's uh start setting this up Crushing Hammer doesn't really do much here, but might as well throw it up. I don't know if I want to keep this guy alive. I kind of do. Look, I'm, I'm banking on getting in some kind of switch card here. I'm not going to use Reset Stamp. First the Dene, then we'll use Octillery. I'm hoping for some kind of switch. That's not a switch. We'll do that. Marnie, please give me some kind of switch or escape rope. Ooh, are you kidding me? All right, well. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Oh, I can't do that yet, oops. I'ma do this. I'ma do this. I'ma do this. Ooh. I like that. And I'm gonna end there. Does he get to see what I pull? Put it in your hand. Reveal it and put it in your hand. So he knows I got a, a V Max in my hand. He could, Marnie. He could. That would suck. This is an easy knockout for him unless he hits all tails. Dude is stacked right now. That Mew is a problem. He might be setting up the other one. No, wait, can you not set up the other one? No, he could set up the other one. Why isn't he setting up the other one? Did he just put a capture energy on it? Why is this dude not... I'm very confused as to why he's not setting up his other Maractus. Is he gonna go for a, a rapid... That was a lot of tails. Oh, no.
Okay. Well then. I need switch cards. That would be great. I'm gonna put this dude up. I'm gonna evolve this dude, I guess. I probably should have checked to see if I can get something with Quick Ball. Uh, I'm gonna get that dude. Uh, this is not good at all. I could get the mustard. I'm gonna grab the mustard. I'm kind of hoping that he won't hit it. It's probably silly of me. He's definitely gonna hit it. He has seven energy. I'm, I'm just hopeful, please. <laughs> I'm just hopeful. That's nine energy. He needs to hit six heads. It's a high number, it's hard to hit, but... Let's see. Oof, okay. He's gonna reflip. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. That was scary. Okay. Um, do I even have any other Rapid Strike? Okay, I do. I don't know if I want to grab any of it, though. I am gonna... I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. I'm risking it here. Might have been a mistake. He is overloaded with energy. Only on one of them. Okay. I'm hoping he doesn't have enough stuff to bring all that energy back into his hand. Does energy recycler bring it into your hand? Into your deck, okay. What did you just play? Okay. So he's using energy recycler. If he can't set it up enough, I, he has to hit four, three. No, it has to hit more. I'm at 210. He needs to hit four heads, yeah. I don't know if he has anything to draw with. If we can knock this Maractus out, that'd be perfect. I need one more energy. I have a good amount of it. I could use the artillery to grab it. There's another Maractus. <laughs> Air balloon. Research. Ooh. Please don't draw a lot, please don't draw a lot, please don't draw a lot. Get like one, get like one. That's all, that's all you need. That's all you need. Oh, two, okay. Okay, I, please don't get a fourth. You only got three? You only got three. No! <laughs> well, now he has enough. Okay, that's five. Now he has to hit four heads. Whew, okay. He's not taking it. Should have taken it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna grab this. Attach it here. 
boom. And this isn't gonna do anything, I figure, so I'm just gonna scare him. Boom. I, okay, I didn't realize I had those alerts on. <laughs> All right, get out of here. Um, All right, we got another Shifu. He may get the knockout here. He has two Maractus down. He has one more somewhere. Uh, how many energy do you have? You need to hit three, I believe. You're drawing more. You have a, quite a bit in your discard right now. Seems like you drew more. Okay. He has three. If he hits all heads, that's knockout. I need to get rid of this dude. I don't know how. <laughs> Okay. That's four. Five. Uh, six. All right, where are all our switch cards? Because it's been very annoying that we haven't pulled any of them. He hit the three. All right. It has been annoying that we have not been able to pull any of our switch cards. Like, even our air balloons, where the heck are they? All right, I'm gonna put this guy up. Enticing. Where are all our switch cards? Seriously, like we have an escape rope. We have two switches. We have all four of our air balloons. We have been super unlucky on this. I would have loved the research here. We have two of our research still. What is this nonsense? Pull something up. Do we want to bank on him not having any switches? Has he even used anything to switch? He hasn't. I'm a dig. Okay. I'll grab it back, I guess. I'll put that there. I'm gonna put that there. This needs two to retreat. I'm hoping, really hoping, that he has no more energy or switch cards. He's literally not using any switch cards. Is that. Okay, that's an energy retrieval. So he's just gonna- wait, oh, he can't put it onto himself, right? He can't put it onto himself. Wait, can he? Wait, oh, rule box. Rule box. Uh, it's not ability box, rule box. That kinda sucks. He's gonna have nine. He has to hit six. We've been running into some of those, like, scariest decks ever. <laughs> Does he have more? Does he have ten? 
Nine? Just nine? Okay. I don't think I have any more. Nope, all three are there. I have energy still, though. I have three more fighting energy. What did you give me? Please give me something good. He gave me something good. If he can whiff pretty heavily here, we'll be fine. Oh my, he has 10. Okay, he has 10. This is the moment of the truth right here. Is he gonna take it? No, he's not taking it, okay. That's a lot of heads, that's a lot of heads, no. Oh, he got it. Well, this is why Maractus is kind of broken. <laughs> it's a really good single prize deck. But all right. Hey, we got a level up, right? <laughs> so guys, that is Rapid Striker Shifu VMAX as a deck. I honestly probably don't play it as good as some of the professionals. <laughs> I am more of just a casual player when it comes to Pokemon TCG. I've competed, but I'm not the best deck builder. <laughs> but it's still fun. I think it still has a lot of potential. I'm excited to see what it can do with Chilling Rain coming out. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Go check it out. Um, I'll leave the deck list in the description, but yeah, there are a lot of other better players who have made really good decks out of Rapid Striker Shifu VMAX, so go check them out. They shouldn't be too hard to find. It's usually the big player names, so anyways guys, as always, stay safe, and thanks for watching.